What is up guys, Patriots here, and today we are playing some Call of Duty Black Ops. I'm using the Olympia on Jungle, and it's a pretty good score, and I was happy with the gameplay. It was my first game, and I didn't really mean to pick the Olympia, but I figured I'd just run with it, because, you know, it's 5 in the morning, and I didn't quite care what happened. So, anyways guys, we're done talking about freaking gameplay. Um, I want to ask you before I forget, because this is kind of an important question, what gameplay do you guys want? I have a three or four Modern Warfare 2 games and three or four Black Ops games. Black Ops games, uh, I can only remember one, but it consists of an 11 and 0 Search and Destroy in the uh, competitive playlist. The other one, uh, the Modern Warfare 2 gameplays consist of a failed nuke, uh, again, another failure to launch, and then a domination game. I don't know. It doesn't matter, but which game do you guys want to see? because I can supply either one of them at the moment. Anyways, moving on, what we're going to talk about today is the FAMAS patch and the new map pack that was announced. It's coming out sometime at the end of this month, I think, or beginning of July. I don't remember when it's coming out. It's coming out, though, unfortunately. Um, I'm not excited for the map pack. I don't want it. Um, this was the first map pack I can remember not being excited about, like, I didn't pay attention to the COD 4 map pack only because I didn't, I don't know, I just didn't like the idea of having to spend more money, but when I started paying attention to map packs was with World at War, and I basically bought it for zombies only because I didn't play multiplayer in World at War, but I remember being really excited for all three of them. Okay, come Modern Warfare 2, even though I swear against that game and I hate it, I was still really excited for what I, you know, for getting new maps, like it was a new experience and whatever. I was excited for both of them, even though by the second one, I wanted to beat the game uh, over my head, and I hated it, but, what's, you know, I was excited. Black Ops, first one, really excited, second one, I was like, nah, you know, I'm not really that excited, but I'm, I'm still excited. This one, third one, I think it's called Annihilation, I am not looking forward to, and I'll tell you why. Basically, I wasn't excited to hear about it, just because I didn't really want to spend $15 again. Because I've been very disappointed the last two map packs. But the thing that really got to me is two of the maps. I don't know what they're called. I have no idea what the names are. But the guy said, this one is the biggest one in the game, or one of the biggest ones in the game. Do they understand we don't want gigantic maps? Like, think back to all the games. Like, Darrell is one of the most hated maps in Modern Warfare 2. Uh, Array is hated. Crisis is hate like the big maps are hated. No one likes big maps. If we wanted Battlefield, we'd go play Battlefield. Do you understand? Then I know this will excite a lot of people, but they said like this map is kind of like Nuketown, so I'm calling it Nuketown Part Two. It's tiny, you know, close quarters like that, and that's all well and good, I guess. But it's gonna get voted every time. It's not really that fun. Like, you know, if I play 40 games in a day. I wouldn't mind playing it, you know, two or three times. But I want to play regular gameplay, you know, not huge map, not tiny map. I want, you know, normal size maps. Like, just when you know when it lists the size of the maps when you go in private match and you look through the maps. You know when it says medium. I want that size. You know, I don't want huge and I don't want really tiny. I want medium. And I also don't want a lot of buildings. Like I. You know, remember COD 4? You couldn't get in all the buildings. There were some buildings you could get in, but not all of them. Like, it seems every map we get, starting with Modern Warfare 2, like, there's more buildings you can go in, more windows you can sit up in. Like, can we not have 300 people, you know, sitting in the windows, and we could have actual just gameplay, like COD 4 again, please? Like, I don't understand that. I, I'm just not happy for this map pack. Now what I want to get to, you know, with the last couple minutes of this video is there is a FAMAS patch that Vaughn tweeted about. It'll probably come out with a map pack patch, you know, that allows the maps to be put in the game. Uh, he didn't say exactly, but I'll assume that's, you know, when the next patch is. And basically, what he says is, I'm going to read the exact tweet in a second. Let me just go down a little bit. Alright. Basically what he said is the changes to the FMAS is tweaks to the ADS raise time, so tweaks to how long it takes to aim down sight, hip fire accuracy reduction, and more recoil and slower recenter speed. Recenter speed being when you burst fire, it's slower to get back to normal. Um, more gun kick. I didn't really think recoil was the problem, but okay. Um, 
the hip fire accuracy reduction way to go that's actually good and ads raise time i didn't think that it aimed too fast or i didn't think that was part of the problem things that aren't changed are fire rate damage range and magazine size range and magazine size i don't care that wasn't my concern but the problem is, is it has a fire rate of an smg with the power of an assault rifle that was the problem that's what we've been telling you this entire time why would you go and do something completely different and not listen to us at all so basically I tweeted back at him the problem was fire rate and damage both being extremely high you just pulled an IW doing something but not quite what we requested like you remember IW um, the bare bones playlist they released they did something like we wanted you know no attachments no kill streaks no perks we wanted that you know they did no kill streaks so they did something but not exactly what we asked for you know they were like oh we did it yes but not really what you said and my concern with this patch is the uh, AUG, the AUG, that assault rifle, it has the same exact fire rate and damage as the FAMAS with a different recoil pattern and people choose the FAMAS because it's easier to control. So now depending on how bad the recoil is in the FAMAS now, everyone's going to switch over to the AUG and it's the same gun as the FAMAS, just a different color. Like, really guys, didn't really think that one through, did you? Because if the FAMAS has really bad recoil now, why not use the AUG? I mean, same gun, same fire rate, same damage, just different recoil patterns. So if the FAMAS has really bad recoil now, well, switch over to the AUG. I don't know. Just my opinion, I guess. I just think that they did something, not what we were asking, and it just kind of felt like Vaughn was, you know, he's been angry about everyone begging for the FAMAS to be patched, so it just kind of seems like he just slapped the community in the face for telling them what we wanted. And I just thought that he didn't really, you know, he didn't do that because, you know, his heart told him to do it. Like, that was what was right. He did it because he felt like we kept begging, so let's do the exact opposite of what you said. Or something, but not quite what you were asking, just to shut you up. I don't know. I thought he's been kind of mean-spirited over Twitter, getting mad at us for telling him what to do. I mean, it's our game. We play it. You know, if the whole community's saying it, listen. I don't know. I just think that he didn't do it with the right intentions i guess or he did it with the right intentions but the wrong intentions basically trying to shut us up instead of actually do what was asked of him i don't know i kind of feel like blame truth right now nothing against blame truth but he does hate the famas and he probably will hate this patch so anyways guys thanks for watching give it a like if you can and i'll see you later